Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Today, I am super excited to share with you guys another amazing watch. Now, I know with all these videos I have, a lot of times you guys know whenever I say I'm super excited, it's usually because I got a new watch. I'm like a kid in a candy shop when it comes to watches. Uh, if you want to meet a guy or watch guy who's all about watches and doesn't have any kind of um, you know snobbery in them when it comes to this great hobby and I say hobby of collecting watches uh, this is I'm your guy uh, there's all kinds of watches I like there's all kinds of watches out of my collection and there's nothing like getting a new watch um, sometimes I'll buy a really cheap watch if you haven't checked out my video on the pin time black crystal or black uh, uh, faux stone watch I should say faux stone they're faux they're uh, they're, they're fake stones, of course. It's a very inexpensive watch. But it's under 20 bucks. It's fun, though. You know, I have an all ruby style. Gem, uh, I, it's not really a gemstone. It's like a fake diamond or a crystal glass, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it's like 18 bucks. And so I have watches that really range in price just because I don't take this this hobby too seriously. These are meant to have fun and wear. And if you're buying a watch and wor I, I personally for me, if you're buying a watch and having to worry about whether you're going to get your money back or worry about having it maintained, to me, I just that takes the fun out of it. Again, to each their own, more power to you. Buy always buy what you like, wear what you like, be respectful of the people's feelings, be respectful of the people and what they like. Uh, if you're a scumbag troll, by all means, you're going to do what you're going to do. But for me personally, and I hope that that's why a lot of you guys watch me because I am very down to earth and I do believe that there is something for everyone. You know, not everybody has the same budget for collecting watches. Not everybody wants to spend a lot. A lot of people have tons of money and are like, nope, I would never spend $5,000 on a watch. Um, I don't have tons of money. I'm just an average dude, but I would never spend $5,000 on a watch. To me, it takes the fun out of knowing I spent that much money on a watch. For who? For what? Who's going to look at that? Nobody's more impressed by it. Nobody's like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. Like, no, they generally will look at the Invicta. I talk to thousands of people uh, through my channel, and I cannot tell you the number of times people have told me, I have Omega, I have Rolex, I have this, I have that. I also have Invicta. Love my Rolex, but my Invictas are the ones people com compliment on. But my Invictus are the ones people ask about. These are the watches. They're unique, they're different, and they're fun. And that's there. And there's a lot of other watches out there like that. And you guys know I've reviewed so many watches on this channel, uh, well over of the thousand videos, well over 150 watches. So check them all out, guys. There's, uh, there's something for everyone in this great hobby of watch collecting. Uh, even when it comes to like, in, I have younger guys, you know, younger dudes like, oh, I'm starting my collection. They're looking at some of the inexpensive hip hop style ones, you know, the costume kind of watches. Um, and I don't say that as a bad thing. It's just a different type of watch you know and and they're excited about it and i love hearing about that i love those stories of people getting involved in wearing a watch my buddy one of my best friends he's not a watch dude at all he's been looking at something you know probably not going to be in victor where you have completely different styles but you know he'll find something that he really likes it's going to bring him enjoyment probably more of a leather strap uh, dress style watch uh, which is odd because he's more he's not a he's more of a construction worker so Again, something for everyone, okay? So let's get to it, right? So you guys know I'm a huge fan of gemstone watches. Uh, you throw flashy crystals, gemstone on it, make it gold, I'm like, aha. And when you look at black diamond, I'm a sucker for black diamond. So this one here is an Invicta uh, sub, -aqua uh, sub aqua specialty. Sub -aquity. I've uh, I have two other of these watches in my collection. Um, I have this in a just rose tone bezel, just all yellow gold. I have this in a mirror polish yellow tone gold automatic Seiko powered uh, faux uh, black spinel bezel. And I say faux because it's more like one. It's one piece. They're not individual stones, but they're designed and cut to look like they're baguette diamonds. Uh, this one here is actually black spinel. And black spinel is not a synthetic diamond. It's its own gemstone, but it's very similar to the properties you're going to get out of a diamond. Now, is it as good as a diamond? Is it worth as much as a diamond? Absolutely not. Just like a gold-plated watch is it going to be uh, it costs as much as a real gold, solid gold watch. It gives you the look. It gives you the price. It gives you a certain feeling, uh, just a look you're looking for. And this watch is absolutely fantastic, guys. Uh, this one here is just, I mean, this is just a real, f I, I just, I cannot describe to you how happy I am with this watch. And you guys know, I've never really been unhappy with many things that are viewed on this channel. I'm a pretty positive dude, and I like to find the good in everything. And, you know, but I can tell you that whenever I get an Invicta, now because I have so many in my collection, I do look for things that are specifically kind of different. And this one here with that black stone bezel, um, I absolutely love. Anything with diamonds, black stones, I'm a huge sucker for black gemstones. Uh, so, 
A little bit about this one, it's powered by a Ronda 5050C. Uh, again, all, all, most of the Invicta watches, if you're going to get a quartz, in the reserve level is going to be are they are going to be powered by a Ronda movement. Uh, Ronda is a fantastic quartz movement. They do play the game Swiss made. I don't know how much is made in Switzerland or not. Remember, Swiss made, in my opinion, nowadays is meaningless. You have all kinds of watches out there. Uh, Breitling is another example of watches that are that lot, some of them are Swiss made and they're using Ronda movements in some of them. Some of them are used. I actually don't go in that. Maybe I think a few used Ronda. Uh, some have used ETA movements. Uh, or ETA movements, um, same one is in one of my Invictus. Um, and what was the other one? There's another movement that I have in one of my Sub Aquanoma 5s that is exactly the same movement used in one of the Breitlings. So remember guys, Swiss made doesn't mean the watch is made in Switzerland, although sometimes it can. It really is meaningless. If you buy a watch that is of good quality, Swiss made is really irrelevant. Look at Seiko. Seiko is a great company. They make a great watch and Seikos aren't Swiss made. I don't know about their, you know, I don't know much about the company. Again, I'm not a, a Seiko fanboy. I think it's a great watch, but, um, and there's a few I like, but every time I look at one, I'm like, yep, I can get an Aragon for half the price with a Seiko powered movement. Is it slightly different movement? Probably, but um, Aragon uses a lot of Seiko automatics in their watches and their quality is uh, just awesome. I mean, compared to Seiko, I think their quality, uh, I don't want to say better, but it's definitely on par and Aragon is on par with Invicta. Uh, they're all three are great brands, but you're really going to get a lot more bang for your buck with Invicta. Uh, so again, um, just a fantastic movement. It's a great quartz movement, and at least it's not a no-name brand movement. You have a company who backs their movement. It's all they specialize is the quartz movement in this in, in, in most of the Invicta watches. So I like the fact that Invicta outsourced the movement. They can focus on designs, the quality of the materials, the quality of the build, and then just hey, throw the movement in there. It's somebody else is doing all the work. So they outsource that. Different style, different. You know, Rolex does everything in house. A lot of other companies do everything in house. That doesn't make those other watches is better at all because lots of companies outsource their movement so um, this is just a killer watch so obviously you have kind of a skeletonized face um, it's not completely skeletonized what you have is these layers inside the watch it's multi-layer design which gives you the illusion that it's skeletonized so I misspoke there it's not actually skeletonized it gives you the illusion that it's skeletonized what you have is um, a white mother of pearl dial which really pops underneath that uh, those kind of, you can see those crisscross bars, which gives you the illusion that this is skeletonized, but it is absolutely not. It's solid. You cannot see the movement at all in this thing. Um, obviously, without speaking, uh, without, you know, um, uh, obviously you guys can't, you're, you're not going to, this watch is just beautiful. Um, obviously, you're not going to miss the, the gemstone bezel. Uh, these are, again, the black spinel. On this here, you have, let me see, they have uh, 5.06 carats of total weight. Um, I think they're 52 on here. It's a 52 millimeter case, 20.5 millimeters in case thickness. So it's not um, one of the biggest Invictus, but 52 is still a huge watch. Uh, it, it's just a beast of a watch. Obviously, this is a Jason Taylor edition where you have the Jason Taylor logo on the back. I like the fact they did the watch back in black. I think it's pretty cool with the, um, obviously, the screw down case back done in gold on all those uh, screw downs. Um, this one here, uh, is number 232 of 999. So on each three colors, the rose tone, the yellow tone, and the silver, 999 pieces, which is for limited edition, that's a lot of watches, but you figure collectively in the whole world, not that many. So at least you're gonna get something that is limited. Um, you know, to me, I never really care. It doesn't really, I don't feel like one's more exclusive than the other, but you may. So uh, still a great watch. You have this matte finished black links going down the center links, and then of course a brush finish down the sides. You have a little bit of contrast between the two. Uh, I think the black on the band, the black with the stones really has a nice contrast. Then of course you have screw down crown and function pushers, which are done in a black sleeve, and then the crown is black. Um, obviously, these things you can see just by looking at the pictures online. Um, it is a killer watch. So 20.5 millimeters in thickness, uh, which if you're familiar with the Venom watch, it's a little bit, a little bit uh, skinnier. Uh, 52 millimeters case diameter. And what I like about the Sub Aqua Specialties, uh, they use a case and cradle design. So you have the outer cradle, and you can see the case is inside. So all this is kind of skeletonized, where the case is kind of sandwiched in this cradle. Um, what's cool about this design as well is Invicta is really sharp when it comes to using 
the different uh, polishing techniques or the different finishes. So naturally you have that matte finish, the brush finish, then of course you have a, a brush finish on the case, and then that mirror polished bezel with those black stones really makes the stones pop. Um, I'm not gonna give all the, all the complications because I've done so many reviews on this channel when it comes to watches. Um, I'll put the link in the description. You can read all about the complications. It is a chronograph, obviously. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with what a chronograph is, it's basically just a mechanical stopwatch. Uh, in this case, it's quartz, which isn't really mechanical, but it's a me in the way that it works, uh, it's not a digital um, stopwatch. It's mechanical uh, for tracking time, of course. Uh, you do have the day of the month, I believe, on this here, the big date window, which I really like, right at the 6 o'clock position. And other than that, you know, a lot of the Rondas, they're all pretty comparable. Um, you know, I have my favorite when it comes to Rondas. This particular one is the 5050C I've had. I have in several different watches. Um, it's it's fine. It's not my favorite one. My favorite Ronda movement is the one with the retrograde day of the week where once you get to Sunday that needle snaps back. Uh, that's my favorite Ronda but I'll always choose an automatic um, over over a quartz just because I like the idea. Um, again, nothing wrong with quartz. I have lots of quartz. I'm not, I don't think that quartz watch and some of the knuckleheads out there uh, has no soul. I don't think about any of that stuff. Um, I just I like the idea of just having a self-winding watch that you never have to worry about the battery. Uh, that's really my only, really, uh, I think the really only, uh, the only attractive thing when it comes to an automatic. Just my personal opinion. Buy what you like. You may feel differently. Ultimately, it's your money. Always, in, you know, buy what you like. But um, that's really about it. 1,650 feet of water resistance. Uh, again, screw down crown and function pushers. Again, some of you, uh, some of the knuckleheads on YouTube kind of give you guys a bump steer when it comes to this stuff. Uh, remember, guys, some Invictus have screw down crown and function pushers, some don't. Some of the same uh, particular uh, designs, like you can get a Sea Hunter with non screw down crown and function pushers. Remember, you'll always get a reference the model number to know which is which. Always check the listings. Invictus stores, let me talk a little bit about that. Invictus stores is one of the best places to buy Invicta watches. It is hands down where you're gonna get the best deals, but you're not gonna find every Invicta there. So you have to keep an eye on it. Bookmark my link in the description. When you see a great deal, take advantage of it. You know, when you're into watches, you'll know what's a good deal and what's not a good deal. You'll know what's a fair price, what's not a fair price, and you'll know what a smoking deal is when you see one. Um, anything under 200 for a reserve level Invicta uh, is a great deal. It's a great price. When you start getting down under 150, you're getting a killer deal. I don't know how they make any money on it. Uh, 199 for a gemstone edition. This is the cheapest that I've seen on a gemstone edition Invicta. So it, this is a great value. If you ever wanted to add a gemstone edition Invicta to your collection, um, you know, definitely, definitely consider this one. If you don't like the yellow gold, you got the rose tone. Originally, we got my parents got me the rose tone when we ordered it together. Of course, uh, unfortunately, um, they they didn't have the rose tone was on sale for 199. The yellow gold and silver was like 280. Then they all went on sale for 199. Now I'm not sure. Just click the link, check it out, see what's available. It does change every day to day sometimes. So 199 is what I paid. 199 is what it is right now for this particular color. We ordered the rose tone, and then they saw that we saw the yellow tone go on sale. I was like, you know what? I'm a yellow tone gold guy. I you know I like rose tone, but I'm more yellow tone gold. Uh, so we canceled that and ordered this one. Now here's the problem with the Victor stores. I will say, I, I am in agreement, uh, it's not the best experience, unfortunately. Um, nice customer service, their turnaround time, and it probably has a lot to do with the, this whole COVID thing right now, uh, or shouldn't say thing, this COVID pandemic. Um, uh, they're probably just backed up. I know Invicta stores, even before this, always took a long time. Generally, just so you know, so you don't worry, when you order from Invicta stores, it's gonna take most cases, best case scenario, five to seven days, for them just to ship your watch. Then you have to wait for the slow, slow shipping of FedEx. Uh, again, FedEx ground, UPS ground, comparable about 10 days. USPS is always about, or I shouldn't say always, but about two to three days on average. Unfortunately, they use FedEx. Uh, you can get second day air that runs you about 30 bucks. I didn't think it was worth it. I can wait. Because you're gonna wait five to seven days to ship it anyway. In my case, it took 14 days to ship it. Now, I did have a little bit of an issue. Um, I always recommend you calling them if you have a problem. I ordered the first one, went ahead and ordered the second one, tried to cancel the first order, um, 
sent them an email. It takes days for them to get back to you. You're, I'm not going to say lack of customer service. I think lack of employees. Uh, so there is just a huge turnaround time. So don't get your hopes up. Um, you will get your product. You will get a great value. You will get a great watch. Um, it's just not going to be as quick as maybe ordering from eBay, maybe ordering from other websites like Shop HQ. But Shop HQ right now, they're listing this thing for three fifty. They were listing it for five hundred. So again, one ninety nine. It is really untouchable. You're not going to find it anywhere. Um, I'd be shocked if you found it cheaper than that. Um, also, when you do order. Anything over 150 is going to get you free shipping. Uh, anything under that, you have to pay shipping, which is about, I think, $9. In this case, free shipping. Issue with in Invictus Tours. Again, accidents happen. I was pissed, but uh, they canceled both orders. So I had to reorder. Nice enough, call them, talk to somebody. They comped me. Uh, they were able, and the price had jumped back up 50 bucks. They comped me the $50 with an online coupon, put it right into my Invicta account. Uh, not my credit card account, but just my user account for their store. $50 discount, and then I had another 10% on top of that they gave me because it, the watch actually was 250 with 10% off. Then they gave me the $50 credit. So I guess watch for $175, I think, before uh, before shipping and tax. Uh, so fantastic deal. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Uh, I love them so much. They're great. Um, wonderful people. I'm very blessed. Uh, but amazing watch, amazing birthday gift, and I absolutely love it. So, guys, snooze you lose. Uh, cop this watch as fast as you can. I know after I release this video, uh, these are going to be sold out. People, they watch the video. They say, you know what? I can order another watch. I'm going to get it uh, because the price, that's the great thing about Invicta. I just don't know how they, they make a watch like this, uh, of this quality, of this build. These aren't just like cheap stones. These aren't just like pieces of glass. These are genuine spinel. I mean, they're not diamonds, but they look so close to diamonds. These are not just glued in there. They're not going to fall out. These are prong set. They're glued and prong. I think they're glued and prong. They're definitely prong set. Um, just it's just a, a watch, and that's the thing with cheaper watches. Generally, go look at what gemstone watches or diamond watches cost. You go JBW. I mean, there's plenty of brands out there that you're just not going to get the quality you get with an Invicta watch, and you're not going to get the price. I will say they did come out with a brand new limited edition that I'm just drooling over, but stay tuned for that. Uh, this is absolutely killer, though. So without further ado, let's show you guys what you came here to watch to see uh, this watch on the wrist. So I am about five foot seven and a half. I weigh about 170 pounds as of today, and uh, I have a seven inch wrist. So this is what a 52 millimeter watch looks like on a guy my size, my height, and my weight. Um, guys, I hope that this camera isn't shaking too much. My uh, my, for some reason or another, when the dryer is doing the spin cycle, we're pretty close to it. It just kind of shakes the house a little bit. Unless we're having a little bit of a tremor, which is not impossible, I'll tell you. Uh, that might be a little bit. My glass desk, the kind of little suction insulators that keep the glass off the metal. Um, yeah, I'm getting a little vibration. So I just got to deal with it, guys. Sorry. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and throw it on the wrist. Um, you know, and guys, remember... You can be whoever you want and wear whatever you want. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Wear what makes you happy. Wear what brings you enjoyment. We're only here for a visit, guys. You never know when, when you know you're you're. Uh, you never know when it's the end. So uh, definitely enjoy the time you have, and don't let $199 stop you from having another killer watch in your collection. And again, guys, remember we all have different budgets. It may not fit into your budget right now, but I just know that once this watch. Uh, is gone, you're going to have a really hard time getting it. They really are blowing these out. And for whatever reason, usually Invicta will drop the price when a watch just isn't super popular or it's not really selling. You know, and that price point for 500 might, you know, it wasn't too competitive. And, and, you know, they probably had a lot of these watches sitting around, even though, you know, 3,000 roughly is still a lot of watches. And if people aren't buying them, you know, they're not buying them. And uh, that's why you get great deals like that. And Victor will say, hey, you know what, let's move them. Let's create something else and keep the frenzy going. Uh, it's just a beautiful watch. And I know if you are an Invicta fan and you love big watches, you are going to love this watch. I always tell you guys, you know, I'm not, I don't ever want to crap on any brand. Again, always buy what you like. Always buy what makes you happy. But when I compare this watch to watches that cost $2,000, um, there really is no difference in quality. I mean, it, it really is amazing. They're on par with watches uh, that, that are priced way higher. And again, I just don't know. I just don't know how they produce something like this and pass it on to the consumer for this price. It really is incredible. Um, 
it, uh, it just it's amazing to me again I've compared this to so many different brands out there had so many watches uh, that I own watches I've compared friends watches other people's watches and I can tell you this is on par watches that cost thousands of dollars uh, and I'll tell you you wear this I mean this is just this is the thing with Invicta what's so cool about it is Invicta watches they they, they stir up emotion uh, not just from people like myself who love them, but for people who hate them, people who don't like them, people who are judgmental pricks, who basically like look at somebody and they don't say, hey, you know what, that, that guy could be a really nice person, that guy could be a, you know, um, done a lot of good for society, for humanity. No, it's just all about like, oh, their watch and, and, and how ridiculous that looks. You know, I mean, Invicta guys, and I always speak, I'm going to speak for all of you, we know a third, we think a 38 millimeter watch looks ridiculous on a man. And I shouldn't say that. But guys, again, always wear what you like, um, you know, but for me, I'm a, I, you know, I got a big personality, I'm bold, I, I absolutely love big pieces that people notice, uh, you know, hey, you know, we're all attention whores a little bit, right? Anybody who says differently, who says they don't like a compliment, probably has never received one. <laughs> so there you go, guys, definitely check it out. Again, seven inch wrist, five foot, you know, seven and a half, you know and uh, 170 pounds. That's what this bad boy looks like. Pick it up, click the link in the description. I think you guys are gonna love it. Awesome. All right, folks, well, let me know if you guys have any questions whatsoever. I'm always here to help. Uh, as always, link is in the description. Click that link, check it out. If I can answer any questions whatsoever, again, drop me an email. Email address is in the description of every video. All the links are in the description of every single video. And you guys have a wonderful day. Remember, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to be notified anytime I upload that new video. And you guys have a great day. Take care.